All right, what is up, everybody? Today we are bringing you a Minecraft tutorial on how to make a server. But before we do that, check out my channel, hit that subscribe button. So for the actual tutorial, you're gonna start with Hamachi. I will put the link in the description. You don't want to click on download. I'm not gonna do it because I already have it downloaded to my computer. Once you do that, you're gonna to want to open up Hamachi. It'll say Log Me in Hamachi. It'll be right here. That's my network. Click on create a new network and then make your network whatever you want. I made mine owner 1713 and then make what your password whatever you want. You're going to want to click create. I'm going to click cancel because I already have this network up. And then your network ID will come up there, which you will need later. So now I'll go to minecraft.net slash download. I will also put a link to this in the description. And go down and click Minecraft server.exe and download that. So you want to leave that, and then it'll say it's safe. My Norton thing is going on. So I went to downloads, and this is my current server. This is what it looked like when you're all done here. So new folder, make a new folder. I'm gonna call this one Minecraft server not to be confused with my other server here that all stuff on the bottom doesn't matter so you're going to want to paste in your minecraft server that you just downloaded from minecraft.net now here comes the tricky part you want to open up notepad yeah okay and then you want to copy this into it and i will also leave this down in the description because this will probably screw you up so this basically when you run Minecraft, it runs on 100 megabytes of RAM automatically, and that's not that much. This just changes it so you can host with more people. I changed mine to 512, with it, which is half of a gig, which makes it run pretty well for everybody. So you're gonna want to you're gonna want to save this as a BAT file, and this will make it so it'll run in the command prompt. So file save as and start it like run minecraft.bat or something along those lines just as long as you got something like that so mine is going to be called run server.bat and make sure it's all files and then click save so once you have that done you're going to want to no, I'm trying to rearrange it here hold on all right so now you want to click on run server and your little command window thing will come up so here's your Minecraft server right here. Make sure that loads completely and it will say done at the bottom. If there's any errors it will show up but I didn't have any. So you want to go down to your little command box and type in stop and it will end your server. So now your server is uh, basically built. Just gotta wait for this to stop. It might take a little while since it's the first exit. All right, now you're gonna have all this other stuff inside of your folder. Back onto Hamachi there, accidentally. Now you're gonna want to go to the server.properties file, and this is how you are going to put your ID in so your friends can join. So you want to click on server properties, rename it server.txt, and it will change the file type to a text file. Click yes, so it's a, now a text file. And then you're going to want to open it. Took me a little bit here to open it. I don't know why. I'm kind of stupid with this computer. So there we go. It's opened. And now you're going to want to open up your Hamachi. And your server IP is going to be your Hamachi IP up in that corner that I'm pointing at right there. So mine is 5.54.140.61. And I'm going to take it off because I already have a server with that IP and I don't want to make another one. But you can still get into your server without a server IP. It's just other people can't. And yeah. And a lot of people are wondering why it says user not premium or whatever when you start it up. Because a lot of people have the bad version. Just change the off, offline, or online mode one to false instead of true and that will fix that. So, you know, it really doesn't matter. But game mode, you can switch it to one if you want creative. Zero is survival spawn monsters you can also change to false if you don't want monsters to spawn so you're going to want to save this as server.bat or not not bat dot server.properties again sorry 
yeah server dot properties click save and it'll show up in your your server so you'll have the server dot txt still which you are going to want to delete so I deleted that deleted that file now you have your minecraft server almost ready to go you're going to want to open up your minecraft server again it, you'll click on the run server so it runs on your half gig ram uh, yep and now your server's up click out of that open up your minecraft enter game here's how the host gets in first it, it it's different for the host and other people my minecraft is really really laggy but you know that's my other server there so to get into your server go to direct connect and type in local host and just join your server and voila there's my new server it is really 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 laggy doesn't look like I'll be doing any minecraft adventure things anytime soon now, how other players will get into your world to go to add server, type in the server name that they want. Server address will be the Hamachi 5.54.140, I think it was, or something. I think I have to look it up here. Yeah, and it will show you at the end how to get on. Minecraft server is running on colon 25565 you are going to want to add that to the end because that will be key for other players getting in and not losing connection so minecraft server on 2.565 open minecraft back up 5.54 clicked on the wrong one alright so you're going to want to type in 5.54.140.61 colon 25565 click done there it is on the bottom. My top one is my personal server. Click join server. And you're back in to the same spawn point as you were before. Again, it is really, really, really laggy. So, disconnect. And you are just about done. That is all that you really have to do. Uh, I, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And make sure to check out my channel and click that subscribe button. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this.